Class 6, welcome to DPSJ for the new academic session 2020-21. Today is 8th April and I am going to take your first class for English language. I am going to teach you the first chapter for the English language that is the sentence. So before watching this video, I request all the students to take out your textbook and open page number 5. So, as all of you have learned about how to make a sentence in other classes also, but today in this class, we are again going to revise whatever we have learned in the previous class. So, you all know the definition of sentence and it is also given in your textbook. So, look at the textbook. A sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense. It contains a verb and a subject. You know that without a verb and without a subject, we cannot form a sentence. Now, there are some rules for writing a sentence, which is given in our book as features. So, I am reading out the features. A sentence is a group of words that makes complete sense. It starts with a capital letter. So, always remember that whenever you write a sentence, it should begin with a capital letter. It ends with a full stop if it states a fact. It ends with a question mark if it is a question. And it ends with an exclamation mark if it is an exclamatory sentence. Now some examples of a sentence it is given in your book. Number A. This is a new school. Number B. I like to play cricket. Number C. My aunt lives in Chennai. Number D. I have many friends. Now... There is one exercise given in your textbook. Please look at the textbook. Exercise A. The exercise is rearrange the following words to form meaningful sentences. Use capital letters, full stops, question marks and exclamation marks as required. The first one has been done for you. So here six questions are there. You have to rearrange these words and you have to make a meaningful sentence. So this exercise, you have to solve it in your school copy. Okay. So whatever exercise I am giving you, you have to do it in your school copy. And after the school opens, I will check those exercises. Now, let us shift to the next topic. The next topic is kinds of sentences. Now, in your book, there is four kinds of sentences. A flowchart is also given for that. Four kinds of sentences are declarative or assertive sentence, imperative sentence, interrogative sentence, and exclamatory sentence. Now, declarative and assertive sentence. What is the definition? See, it is given here. A sentence that declares or states something is declarative sentence. So, in a sentence, when it is stating a fact, it is declaring something that is called a declarative sentence. Declarative sentence are of two types, negative and affirmative. Affirmative sentences affirm a proposition. Okay. So, affirm, affirmative sentences, it affirms a proposition. Then, some examples are also given here for the affirmative sentence. He goes to school. The school reopens today. Now negative sentences means it negates a proposition. Means it gives a negative meaning to the sentence. Like he cannot dance. She is not well. So all of you are now at the page number 6. Declarative and assertive sentence says are of two types. It is also given mentioned in the flowchart. Affirmative or positive and negative. Here is also some features given. Please, I am reading out the features. Please observe this. An assertive sentence makes a statement. It ends with a full stop. An assertive sentence can be positive or negative. Now again one exercise is given. See, exercise B. Answer these questions. Then mention whether your answer is affirmative or negative. And the first one has been done for you. Answer this question means some questions are given. 
See, in your textbook, some questions are given. Do you study in college? You have to give the answer. Like the first one is given here, the answer. I don't study in college. Now, after giving your answer, you have to write, is it a negative sentence or is it an affirmative sentence? Okay. So, be, beside all the questions, like second question is, which is your favorite subject? So, you can write that my favorite subject is English. So, if you are writing my favorite subject is English, you are stating a fact. Okay. And it is a positive sentence. So, you can write affirmative. So, like this, whichever reply you will give or answer you will give. If it is negative, then it, you will write negative beside that. And if it is positive, you will write posit, uh, affirmative beside the question. So, this also you will solve in your copy. Okay. So, is it clear up to this? Then, I am going to imperative sentence. Imperative sentence. Sentences that express a command, request, advice, order or suggestion are called imperative. So, whenever we speak, we sometimes we request someone in our speech, we advise, we order and we request or we give suggestion. So, this type of sentences are called imperative. Examples like for request, one example I am giving, please tell me what happened. This is requesting. Then order, do your homework properly. Now, here are also two features or rules given. For the imperative sentence. Number one, an imperative sentence ends with a full stop. It tells us to do something through request, command, order, advice or suggestion. Now, imperative sentences may be used to express a command. Again, some more examples are mentioned in your book. So, please always look at the book. To express a command. Example, it is given, come here. This is expressing a command. Bring the box here. Then, to make a request. Please help me clean the cupboard. To give some advice, never lose your patience. Okay, now we will go to page number 7. Here is another exercise given C. This is for the imperative sentence. Answer the following question. Follow the instructions given in the brackets. One has been done for you. Here also, you have to Give an answer. Previously in exercise B also you have done. That is you are answering the question. Here also you have to answer the question. Okay. And you have to follow the instruction which is given in the bracket. The first one it is given already. May I come in? Yes you may come in. Now number two it is given. How do I complete this drawing? You have to give a suggestion to this question. Okay. So you have to give a suggestion. When you are writing the answer, you have to write a suggestion and it should be, means, uh, it should be an imperative sentence, okay? How do I complete this drawing? You have to give a suggestion. Then for after each and every sentence, see, in the bracket it is given. You have to give an advice, you have to give a an command and you have to give a suggestion. So you have to follow the instructions and do the exercises accordingly in your copy, okay? And the last one. Uh, uh, the third one is the interrogative sentence. Sentence, you know that when we ask a question or when we do some queries, that is called interrogative sentence. Generally, interrogative sentences, we always use question mark. So, the feature is also given here that an interrogative sentence ends with a question mark. It asks something. It begins with the words like how, what, when. Okay, every question we know they uh, begin with such words like WH words, which, what, how. When declarative sentences are converted into interrogative sentences, certain changes take place. Like see, one example is given here. One declarative sentence is given. I can go. It is given declarative. You can change it into interrogative. Like can I go? The word order is changed in an interrogative sentence. The auxiliary verb changes its position and comes before the subject forming can I go. Now the second an example which is given in your book see he eats a banana every day. It is a declarative sentence. Does he eat a banana every day? It, you have to change it into interrogative sentence. An interrogative sentence can be a WH question and begins with words like when, why, who or how. An interrogative sentence can also be a question 
which can be answered with yes or no. Now here is another exercise which is given for the interrogative sentence that is D. Make questions and complete the conversation. Use words like how, when, where, whose, did or do. So here the first uh, here answer is given. You have to make the question. My birthday is in June. The answer is given. So you have to write the question. So what will be the question? One example I am telling. Like when is your birthday? So you have to write the question. When is your birthday? Question mark. Like this you have to write the question after seeing the answer. Okay. So you, are, you have to solve this exercise in your copy. Then the last one is exclamatory sentence. Sentences that show the sudden feelings or that expresses the sudden feelings are called exclamatory sentences. It ends with an exclamation mark. Example is given in your book. Please see what a beautiful dress it is. How melodiously she sings. Now, now see the features. An exclamatory sentence ends with an exclamation mark. It usually begins with what or how it expresses feelings. The last exercise is number E. Rewrite the sentences given below as exclamatory sentences using how or what. Some sentences is given here. You have to rewrite the sentence. Again, you have to write the answer. Okay. Seeing the question, you will write the answer. That is, you have to change it into exclamatory sentences by using the exclamation mark. And please use how or what. Okay. So, this is the, uh, this we have finished. The assertive sentences, then interrogative sentence, imperative sentence and exclamatory sentence. All the four types. So, today what we have learned is the, how we can form a sentence the basic knowledge about the sentence, how to write a sentence and we know that sentence carries a verb and a subject. Then the four kinds of sentence you have learned, declarative or assertive. Then you have learned imperative, interrogative and exclamatory. Assertive you have learned how to state a fact. Okay. And assertive sentences may be negative or positive. And then you have learned imperative sentences where Whichever sentences we use for giving a command, request, advice, suggestion or proposal. That is the imperative sentence. And interrogative sentence, you know, whenever you make questions or you ask questions, that is interrogative sentence and exclamatory sentence. We have learned that whenever you express a sudden feeling of joy or sadness, okay, or surprise, that is exclamatory sentence. So these are all the sentences you have learned. So, in our next class, we will continue with this chapter as there are some other topics to be discussed in this chapter. So, for today's class, we will do up to this and I am telling you to learn all the types of sentences, the definitions which were given in your book, all the definitions uh, with, along with the examples you will learn by heart. And you will solve all the exercises in your copy. Thank you.